What's up again, everybody? The Game Manufacturers Association Convention, a large profession convention and product showcase, just took place in Las Vegas, and during the convention, WizKids held a seminar where they announced their modified schedule of Dice Masters releases this year. So in this video, we're going to discuss the new dates for the Dice Masters releases this year, and we're also going to talk about some new products that they haven't mentioned before, but they first announced at the convention. Also, before we get started, I wanted to say that if you want a closer look at the images that I'm using in this video, you can find those at the reserve pool, courtesy of Bud's Place Games and Comics. I'll put a link in the description to check those out. Alright, so first things first, originally we were supposed to be getting the Guardians of the Galaxy Gravity Feed set in April. However, that has now been moved, so our next set of Dice Masters products comes out in May. In May, we will be getting two sets of products. The first is the Defenders Team Pack. If you'd like to see my thoughts on the Team Pack, click the annotated link on the screen to watch the Defenders Team Pack card review I uploaded recently. The other set that we get in May is the Batman Gravity Feed set, one that I am super excited for. WizKids has revealed that they will be incorporating a flip mechanic into the set that now gives characters different abilities depending on what side they're on. That, along with some new keywords, has me super excited for this set. Moving on to June, we have two releases as well. We have the Superman and Wonder Woman starter set. This will be the DC-themed annual starter set, and it is not connected to a larger set. It is just standalone starter set like the one we have had recently, the Iron Man and War Machine starter set. The other set that we're getting in June is the Guardians of the Galaxy Gravity Feed. I'm assuming that they moved the launch date back so that it would drop after the next Guardians of the Galaxy movie comes out. In any case, I'm personally glad that it is projected to come out here in the next couple of months. It does, though, mean that we have a lot of product coming out in the next couple of months, so save up your money or just choose selectively what you think is going to be best for you and pick up some Dice Masters. Our wallets get a little break in July, with the only release being the Spider-Man Maximum Carnage Team pack. And this is a set we don't actually know a lot about, but I am excited to see what they are including in it. It is based on the Maximum Carnage storyline from the comics, so it should be pretty interesting. So into the month of August we go, and we find that we now have the X-Men First Class Gravity Feed being relocated to August, so you can expect that in August. I don't expect them to move that around anymore. It's looking like they're planning to do some more what-if super rares, which could be interesting. Those are kind of hit or miss for me, but I'd like to see some really good ones so that we can kind of hunt for those and, and see those on some teams. And it would appear as of right now that WizKids' final set for the year is a set that they had not previously announced and most of us have been hoping for, the third Dungeons & Dragons set. I really love the other two sets. I enjoy the interactions, the classes, the set-specific keywords, and I feel that a lot of the innovation in the game has come from the D&D sets, so I am so excited for this third D&D set. And I'm excited for it not just because of all those things I just mentioned, I'm also excited for it because they made a huge, really, really cool announcement in the realm of drafting. So if you don't know what a rainbow draft is, it's Dice Master's version of draft. You buy 12 packs, you pop open 6, you take those cards, you pick 1, you pass the rest of the cards over to someone sitting next to you. You take the person's cards that are next to you and you look at those cards. You pick one. You keep going around and around and around until you've drafted. Then you open the second set of six packs. You do the exact same process again and you're left with this huge deck of cards that you've drafted. And from that deck you make a team of eight, choose a couple of basic actions that you've brought yourself, and then play a tournament around what you've drafted. I personally find Rainbow Drafts some of the most fun that you can have in the game, so I'm always excited when they make some announcement of something that they're going to do with regards to Rainbow Drafts, like big tournaments or something. So the announcement that they made for Rainbow Drafts, specifically with this set, is the way that they're actually going to package this set is different. If you take a look at the slide that they have up there, they have a little picture of a box with sort of a top torn off, and apparently this is going to be the packaging that they use for this new set. So let's take a look at the graphic by itself. So rumors say that this packaging will hold roughly the equivalent of nine normal packs of Dice Masters. So you're looking at 18 cards. Rumors have also suggested that they're going to do the whole Magic the Gathering style thing where they ensure one rare or better in the packs, as well as a smattering of commons and uncommons that you can normally find. Now you stop right there and I'm already like, yeah, that is awesome, I will take it, that sounds great. But they're also saying that they're going to include two dice for every card in said pack. Now how does this help rainbow drafts? Actually it helps it a ton, because when you're rainbow drafting, you have to decide between a varied amount of really good cards, or drafting multiples of one character so you can have enough dice to play with that character. In fact, one of the reasons you need 12 packs is because of the 
the redundancy aspect. You need enough of the same dice to show up so that you can draft the same card and get enough dice to play with that character. So by including two dice for every card, it cuts down on your need to draft multiples of that same card, that same character, in order to have multiple dice for the character. And it also means you don't have a bunch of extras just lying around of that same card because you went to four drafts and you drafted the best card like 20 times, <laughs> which I have done on more than one occasion. The other thing this does is it lowers the entry cost for drafting. Before you had to pay the $12 for all 12 packs. Now, with this retailing at $10, which is what people are saying, you just drop $10 to buy one of these little boxes, pop it open, and that is your contribution to the draft. As someone who loves both D&D and drafting in this game, when they first made this announcement, I was geeking out. I was freaking out. I was so excited, and I'm still really excited, so I'm hoping that this comes out sooner rather than later and doesn't get pushed back because I really want to see this packaging, and I really want to get through a couple of drafts with this to see how the format now is. All right, so to sum it all up, the release schedule now looks like this. In May, we get the Defenders Team Pack and the Batman Gravity Feed Set. In June, we get the Superman Wonder Woman Starter Set and the Guardians of the Galaxy Gravity Feed. In July, we have the Maximum Carnage Team Pack. In August, we get the X-Men First Class Gravity Feed. And then finally, in September, we get the D&D 3 set with the draft format distribution that they just announced. So which of all of these sets are you most excited for? Are you as excited as I am about the new draft format? Does it seem interesting to you, or do you think it's not so good? What do you think? Do you think any of these sets are going to be pushed back again? Or do you think the calendar will stay the same as it is right now? Would you like to see something get released around holiday time? Or are you okay with it being a hard stop in September? Do you think they're going to sneak out something new right at the end of the year? Comment below with your thoughts, and as always, thanks for watching.